previously mentioned, Germany represents the largest market for medical devices in Europe. In 2004, the so-called German DRG system was introduced as a prospective payment system to replace the previous Volpeschal and, and Sondringelt systems, which included both procedure reimbursement and per diem payments. The period 2004 to 2009 was designated the convergence phase. One of the aims here was to bring hospital DRG base rates into line. A characteristic of the German DRG system seems to be the propensity to add new DRG codes into the DRG catalogue. This in itself makes it different to many other DRG systems around the world, particularly the USA. For example, 1,137 DRGs in 2008 compared to 1,082 in 2007. I'll come back to this later in the presentation. The introduction of the German DRG system represented a major change in the reimbursement landscape, particularly for some medical device companies. The time taken for full implementation, while significant, is typical of the timeline seen in other countries. The purpose of this and the next few slides is to give you an introduction and an overview of the German DRG system. It is certainly not intended to make you an expert in all aspects of this complex and comprehensive system. During all the phases of the German DRG introduction, the DRG catalogue is continuously adapted. With that said, let's take a look at some of the key players. One of the most important players is the Institute for the Renumeration of Hospitals, the so-called DRG Institute, INEC. Created in 2001 by the Federal Associations of the Sickness Funds, the German Hospital Federation, DKG, and the Association of Private Health Insurers, to support the introduction and the further development of the DRG system as a case fee system. The INEC is effectively under the control and supervision of the Committee on Hospital Payment, KEA. Guidelines for the DRG coding of patients are published by INEC. Other key players include the Insurers Association, German Hospital Association and Medical Societies.